Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. On the last episode we faced Dracula and we got an ending to the game that wasn't exactly the best ending. I also pointed out that the next area is going to have a boss enemy which is going to be much, much stronger. I'm going to keep the Ajuna as much as possible. I'm going to go this way first. Now there's some strong enemies down here, especially with the duplicator. You can get uh, your butt handed to you, because they will hurt. Those cats can hurt you too. Their sword familiars be, will be very helpful here, because they will kill the bats as much as possible. See? I'm going to let that clock disappear somewhat. And the rune sword is really good for this area too. Here's an interesting little area here. The rune sword is very good for this. There we go. Here we get a life max up and a heart max up. Useful. We get a frozen half year. If you get your familiars at a high level, they will help you out. Let's see which way I'm gonna go. Yeah, let's go this way first. This is delightfully a creepy area here. Just plow through these enemies. One dollar, just like we had last time. And here we have a save point in case we needed it. And that's pretty nice. Here we got a diamond. Alright, and before we go into the next room, I'm going to make sure that I am equipped as well as I can be. What we need to have is something that's going to help us with lightning damage, because we're about to face somebody that's very strong and will hurt us with lightning. Another thing we probably want to do is take a look at our defense. It's not very high right now, but I think we'll be okay. Um, let's get rid of the duplicator, though. I'm going to use the Noglamir, and I'm going to see if there's anything else here that's going to help as far as lightning goes. This will help. The Alucard Mail will resist fire, lightning, ice, but it won't be as strong, so that will help. And I think we're good for now. There are multiple ways of taking care of this guy, but we're... Gonna take care of him some way. Let me also get rid of this. There we go. That's gonna help our defense a little bit. Okay, let's see what we've got. And this is the strongest enemy in the entire game. You see what he does with the lightning? And it's actually healing us? This is what you want to do. And he's actually not that, uh... The Juna doesn't help that much with this guy. Whoops. And then he could just heal up by his lightning, which is pretty nice. I'm gonna mist over here. The Juna doesn't help that much in this for this boss enemy. But he believe he has 12,000 HP, so we're going to be at this a while. But the brilliant thing is, is that if you, at all, have the lightning mail or anything that's going to help you with lightning, you get healed as soon as he attacks you with the lightning. Otherwise, that'll take away most of your HP. So that's pretty nice. 
And you could wail on him with a chrysogram if you wanted to. But there's actually a way to actually cheat this boss out a little quicker. And I'll show you that in the next few minutes as soon as I defeat this guy. You just go to town on him. And there we go. That's why you need the lightning mail. If we didn't have that, that lightning would take um, away our HP. Instead of healing us, it would take away that much each time. So it could easily wipe us away. So that's pretty interesting. And Gallimoth, by the way, the uh, lore behind that is he's actually wanting to be more powerful than Dracula. And he actually is, so he's the one that really wants to take over the castle. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to go back and do something a little different. What I want to do now is, instead of this, we're going to shield rod him. And this will be interesting. Now with the shield rod, just stick out our shield and pretty be pretty much invincible. Watch. This is how the shield rod can defeat an enemy really quickly. Look at this. And he's done. 12,000 HP in just a few seconds. So that's why the Alucard shield with the shield rod spell sometimes can feel like it's breaking the game. So that was fun. Alright, back to the rune sword. Let's clear out this map. And here we get the gas cloud. What this does is, as a gas cloud, you can destroy anything in in your way as a gas cloud. And I'll, just, I'll demonstrate that. As long as you got the magic for it, you can use that. And there's just a few more rooms all the way over, so I'm going to meet you back somewhere, and we'll continue. Remember, there's a secret here, by the way. Here we get the Necklace of J, and it just increases our defense, so let's use it. We didn't need that for Gallimoth, though. We were able to handle him just fine without it. And which way are we going? I'll show the Gas Cloud off a little bit. You can attack things with the Gas Cloud, and that's pretty nice. It does use up your magic a little bit, but watch this. Aha! You could just go into people and destroy them. That's pretty fun. We don't need the Ajuna anymore, but I'm going to keep it. I don't want the Bibuti. Try to get everything here. Alright, here we've got more spikes, but we can go as a mist and not worry about it. And there you go. And here we get a karma coin, a karma coin. Or is this fire and is this thunder? And let's take a look up here. And here we get an elixir. And there's a secret area here where we get a library card. So that's pretty nice. Make sure this covers everything. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go take a look for something else, and then I'll see what we can do. 
There's one area that I forgot to get, by the way. So, we'll go get that. Alright, the area that we forgot is up here. And, um... Sorry about that. It wasn't an area that was really that important. But it does have a relic that we missed, and I'd like to show it off. And here we get the Force of Echo, which is the final relic. And as a bat, what that does is get an echo here. It actually sends out little uh, shock waves that can attack. So that can be kind of useful. Alright, we've got all the map now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to meet you back at the clock, and um, we'll quickly go through Dracula, and we'll see what the real ending of this game should be. Alright, what I'm going to do is, just like last time, and let's have some fun. Let's see how quickly we can get rid of Dracula. And that's what the Alucard Shield can Go do. Back whence you came. Trouble the soul of my mother no more. How? How? How is it that I've been so defeated? You have been doomed ever since you lost the ability to love. Ha. Ah. Sarcasm. For what profit is it to a man if he gains the world and loses his own soul? Matthew 1626, I believe. Tell me what... What were Lisa's last words? She said, do not hate humans. If you cannot live with them, then at least do them no harm. For theirs is already a hard lot. She also said to tell you that she would love you for all of eternity. Lisa, forgive me. Farewell, my son. So you made it. Alucard, I'm glad you're all right. I'm sorry. Tis my fault you had to fight your own father. Fear not. I had my own reasons for destroying him. It must have been painful for you. Indeed. But you must always remember that the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. I understand. Alucard, what will you do now? The blood that flows in my veins is cursed. T'would be best for this world if I were to disappear forever. I see. Farewell then. We'll not meet again. Alucard...
Don't you want to go after him, Maria? I'm sorry. I can't let him disappear from my life. It's all right. Go after him. Perhaps you can save his haunted soul. Thank you, Richter. Fare thee well. And yourself, dear lady. And that's it for Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Thank you so much for sticking through all of these episodes and bearing with me and having the patience to finish this Let's Play. 
Thank you again, and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.